Two trends are largely responsible for the rise in homelessness over the past 20 to 25 years, a growing shortage of affordable rental housing and a simultaneous increase in poverty. Other reasons for increased homelessness are eroding work opportunities, decline in public assistance, lack of affordable health care, domestic violence, mental illness, and addiction disorders. Today, many cities and counties throughout the United States, including the state of Florida, are making it tougher on those who have become homeless. In some cities, they have outlawed panhandling, so these people can no longer stand on street corners asking for money or other handouts as people drive by. In some areas, police officers now patrol area parks and suggest to those who appear homeless to move on to another location. As of June 15, 2011, 21 people have been arrested at Lake Eola Park in Orlando for sharing food with homeless people. You want to step over here with the food? I'm right here. Yep. Okay, come on. I'll do the sidewalk. Don't you need to give me a citation? No. No. Can my yeah, rights be read to me? I don't know what I'm being arrested you don't for. Have to get a you haven't been custodial oh, you guys, interview. We're getting a citation. That's good. Oh, we're going to put you in here. Hey, everybody! We're serving hungry people. Yeah. By the city ordinance. The city ordinance is that. Fort Lauderdale is trying to restrict all food sharings to a single Salvation Army truck and has been violating the rights of homeless advocates for months with unlawful arrests, surveillance, and unwarranted raids. Food Not Bombs is one of the fastest growing revolutionary movements and is gaining momentum throughout the world. There are hundreds of autonomous chapters sharing free vegetarian food with hungry people and protesting war and poverty. Food Not Bombs is not a charity. This energetic grassroots movement is active throughout the Americas, Europe, Africa, the Middle East, Asia, and Australia. There are three principles every Food Not Bomb group must follow. The first is, all food is vegan or vegetarian. That is, no meat, dairy, or eggs. With the process we use, we rarely hold the food we collect for more than a couple of hours. We encourage awareness of vegetarianism for political, spiritual, and economic reasons. We only prepare food which is strictly from vegetable sources, so people will always know and trust Food Not Bomb Food has this standard whenever they come to our table. The second is each Food Not Bombs chapter is autonomous and uses a process of consensus to make decisions. There are no leaders, presidents, or directors. Everyone in each chapter is encouraged to participate in the decision-making process. In consensus, a decision is not made until a proposal is one everyone participating in supports and gives their consent. The third is Food Not Bombs is dedicated to using nonviolent direct action to change society. Our volunteers not only provide meals to the hungry on the streets and at protests, we also participate in planning and implementing campaigns of nonviolent direct action. Our volunteers helped organize and provide meals to activists at blockades, sit ins, strikes, marches, tree sits, and lockdowns. Our actions can involve art, music, puppets, banners, and many other creative strategies. The easiest way to help your local chapter of Food Not Bombs is to donate food and volunteer. You can find out more about the Toppin Springs Food Not Bombs by visiting their page on Facebook. Or visit the main website of Food Not Bombs at www.foodnotbombs.net.